do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So I've got a short video for you today. What I wanna do is show you my new setup for storing RO water. So I go to the store and I purchase RO water. I don't have an RO system myself. It's something that I wanna get in the future, but as of right now, I don't have one. So I have to go down and carry this water in five gallons at a time. So normally what I've been doing is just storing five or 10 gallons and you know that's been good for me with my one shrimp tank, but now that I have multiple tanks, running on RO water, it's not enough water for me. So I'm gonna be upgrading my system and I wanted to walk you guys through the process and how this is gonna make my life easier. If you haven't already, do yourself a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the like as well, and leave me a comment down below how you use RO water, how you store RO water, what you have found to make your life easier. So we'll get right to it. All right guys, so to get this started, I just wanna show you what I have set up right now. So for your shrimp, you wanna make sure that you age the water for at least 24 hours. So after I pick up my RO water, I remineralize it. And in a five gallon container like this, I use one and a half scoops of the shrimp mineral GH and KH plus. So that gives me a TDS of right around 199, 200. After I remineralize it, I turn on the air stone and I just let the water circulate. And I do this for about 24 hours before I do any water changes. So with doing it this way, I only have about five gallons of water on hand at any time. This new setup I'm gonna show you guys is gonna give me the opportunity to have a lot more water on hand, so that way I don't have to make as many trips to the store. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Bam! So this is an 18 gallon tote, and I don't wanna fill it all the way up, so I'm probably only gonna put 15 gallons in there, but that's gonna give me three times the amount of what I was storing already. I know you could say that I could just go out and get more five gallon jugs, but I use a lot of my jugs for water changes. So I felt like this was gonna be an easier solution for me, as well as what I show you in the next bit. It's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. So this was purchased brand new. I've already rinsed it out, so that way there's no dust or anything in it from the store I bought it from. So I'm gonna take my remineralized water that I already have and dump it in there. Now I've got my five gallons of remineralized water in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run to the store and go get more. All right, so I just went to the store. I got 10 more gallons of RO. So I am only gonna put another five gallons in here. So 10 gallons altogether. The reason for that is I'm gonna save five gallons for my top offs. Because for top offs, you don't wanna use remineralized water. You just wanna put straight RO in. Now that we put another five gallons in, we need to remineralize. So we're gonna do one. And a half. Gotta stir this up a little bit. So another reason that I am not going to use that last five gallons of RO is as this sits here and bubbles, it's gonna evaporate. So I'm gonna need to add pure RO to this to get the TDS lower because as it evaporates, that TDS is gonna raise. All right, so now for the exciting part. This is what I'm excited for because this is gonna make my life super easy. Not only is having the remineralized RO ready to go gonna make my life convenient, but I went out and I got a power head. So now with this power head, I can put it in there, I can plug it in, and I can fill up any container that I need and any measurement that I need to get the amount of water that I need. So just to show you guys, got my power head, got my container, and I got my hose. 
So this, whoops, wrong end, is going to attach to the end of the power head. And then all I have to do is pop that into the bucket. Let's make sure we're not getting water everywhere. And then plug it in. Now it's flowing. We're good to go. Take my container. And if I fill this up, that's a gallon. So however many gallons I need, I just continue to fill this up. So simple. Makes my life so much easier. Now we got a gallon of water. Ready to go for any water change that I need to do. This is amazing. Why have I been doing things the hard way? So very simple guys. I don't know why I haven't set this up before. Now the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna hook up my air lines. So that way this water is being circulated. Now you could argue that I could leave the pump running I feel like an air stone is going to take less energy and have less fail points than the pump itself. Look at that. Super simple. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I hope you learned something today and you know I've made your life a little bit easier. So do me a favor, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below what you thought about this video. And as always, thanks again for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.